being extremely just in an unjust world just doesn't work like that. You have to fight fire with fire to a certain degree. But where could we be if all that we see was our soul? Well, if truth be told, God-like. In an off-white spotlight. You see, when I got high, that would knock my gobshite of a lost mind into top flight. So in turn, this would stop life. A matter of urgency took over. A month sober stopped me from dying alive on the sofa. It's time I fight back. By getting my life back. With the most obvious life hack. Passion. I can't even begin to imagine what could happen if I start to fathom a new pattern and take action to climb up this chasm and try and pass the baton. Some really good shit it turns out. <laughs> you see, I had a lot of fun doing drugs, but more time, the bad times outweighed the good. I would abuse my brain, use cocaine to soothe the pain so I could feel new again, but then I didn't know who I became, I just wasn't the same. So my battery ran flat. I'm sick of this damn act. Look how much stress you're going through. It's like you're living with Anne Frank. And for what? All because you had a hell of a bad what? Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to sound dramatic, but the way I felt, it was like my own version of hell until I found myself. Clarity of a conscious mind is key. So now, I use lines of poetry to release my dopamine and openly speak vocally about how I've only just noticed me. I don't know who can relate to this. I just hope that you can take something away from it. Because I didn't think I could slip from the devil's grip until I got self-equipped with this mental shit. And then it all hit. I was never his bitch. I'm him. Thank you.